U.S. firms to Trump, don't raise tariffs on more Chinese goods. To Trump American firms, do not increase tariff on more Chinese goods. Washington, AP, fishermen from the Alaska coast. A Florida manufacturer of boat trailers. A construction material distributor in Tennessee. He and hundreds of other U.S. businesses are giving similar petitions to President Donald Trump because he imposes the tariff on imported Chinese goods about 40%. Do not do this. There will be a six-day hearing in Washington in the Trump administration in Washington on Monday between the world's two largest economies, the $200 billion in Chinese goods. The proposed tariff of Trump can be 10% to 25%, which will soon come maybe as next month. Once effective, tariffs will immediately raise prices that American companies have to pay for Chinese components, they need to make their products. Those companies will have to decide whether to pass those costs to their customers or to absorb high prices themselves. The first shots have already been removed. In July, Trump reduced the tariff of 25% to $34 billion in Chinese imports. Ready to tax this extra $16 billion this week China is counter-punching with its own tariff. But $200 billion in additional Chinese goods, which is considering Trump administration tax, will mark a significant increase in its trading battle with Beijing. Washington and Beijing are facing American allegations that China uses violent tactics to try to overtake American technological dominance, those strategies, the administration argues that in return for access to the Chinese market, cyber theft for American companies and the pressure is involved. So far, the U.S. tariff has targeted imported Chinese industrial products, electronics, toys and food that can buy ordinary American mouths or orders online. But adding $200 billion to the target list will expose the heavy taxes, which were included in several taxes of $506 billion in goods last year sent to the United States, including many consumer products. There are 6,031 Chinese imports in the list, a generous compilation which is up to motorboat from the button to burglar alarm. JOI and Stores, which sells clothing and crafting supplies, says it imports nearly 500 items in the tariff list, which includes wool, yarn, and cotton fabrics. Joe Van Ann's tax and public affairs vice president Ed Weinstein said that he does not understand how weaving and sculptors were supplied in trade dispute on high-tech policy. Our products are very simple said Weinstein to the Associated Press. I do not expect to see clothing and crafts components on the tariff list. In their filing in the Trump administration, Companies importing from China complain that tariffs will increase prices, pay higher costs, attempt to find alternate suppliers, or attempt to lose the business to foreign competitors who do not pay fines on components and they import machinery from China. Brian Riley, director of the Free Trade Initiative in the Conservative National Taxpayers Union, said, If you see filing, many of them are saying ma pop pop businesses. Please do not do this to us. Consider a business group for operators of 19 fishing trawlers from Seattle's Groundfish Forum, Alaska. It warns that the tariffs will kill flatfish caught on the American coast sent to China prior to processing before being sent to the United States. The group said in a filing with the Office of the Administration of the American Trade Representative that the group will abandon the proposed 10% tariff on those fish permanently harvested fish caught by American fishermen on competitive damage. A company Magic Tilt Trailer in Clearwater, Florida, which manages boat trailers. It says that it is to buy Chinese tires and parts on Trump's target list, there are some options. The company wrote, Tariff will not have any impact on sourcing options of members in the trailer manufacturing community. We will only get 10% tax, 
which is payable for the general treasury. Plastics Incorporated Building, a Memphis-based building materials distributor. This Chinese quartz buys 400 to 800 pounds of the slab and sells them to the fabricator, which converts them into the countertop and other items for homes and offices. The company says it tried to find alternative sources of minerals and failed. Mike Perkovsky, a product manager of the company said, We did not want to go to China, but we had to be forced to go to China. Perkovsky said that the tariff could prove to be destructive. He said in an interview, there is a possibility that we can be excluded from the market. We will definitely have to pass with the tariff. We are educating our client base that the tariffs are coming. Surely the price will increase. What you and China can avoid a tariff conflict of $200 billion. Hopes rose on the news last week that China would send an envoy.